imaginary points and then spend it to get unique rewards that you wouldn't be able to get if you haven't watched my stream a lot. Give me a second here. I love this reaction too. Ladies and gentlemen, there's so many dang things you can do with the power of Flash, and there's so much great daily content to be had, so make sure you're not part of the 75%. Let's hop back in with this disgusting execution angle. There's an open nexus, open inhibs, open everything. You're extending it for the base, and if they don't win this fight decisively, the game is over. Renata and Cassiopeia barely escape with their lives, and this true shot is looking for one of the two. Killing either would be a massive pick for the counter attack onto Baron. Cuidado, 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 cuidado! In slow-mo, that was an ult flash backwards to mark both Draven and Cat up to ensure no escape. And speaking of no escape... That prediction was straight up disgusting, and so is this turn. People underestimate just how long Cyan's shield lasts for and how much damage it explodes for. Black, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
ein Ekelschwein. He has no ignite. Okay. I thought, yeah. Thank you. You saved my land. Very good. We like that. Lee's kick isn't the only thing you can buffer. Tempest is a fantastic surprise attack tool, especially if you're maxing it second. Kiana ain't ready for the flurry of blows. The second she drops under half, watch Warwick's attack speed numbers. Oh my god, that was honestly like so satisfying. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like that was so satisfying. Whoa. Flashetez pas. <laughs> What up, bros? Elawi's pushing top, and the enemy team is doing Elder Dragon. Meanwhile, this Ferris finds a big fat opening to save his game. Already starting the ball rolling. And the more advantage T1 can get, the better. But as, as mentioned, as Odoran. Yeah, looks for some cooldowns immediately. The flash out from the Gragas and Zayas. I think he's done it. There's the return of the favors. No, Doran's going to be able to make it out. He just walks it off. Walking. He does manage to get some space to do damage. 
He is very, very scary. And as we can see, now diving forward, Tibbs. He's going to connect on a delighted Trophy. Goes golden. Dudu is extraordinarily squishy, but still does so much damage. Doran, can he actually create the space? The answer is no, as it's a double kill now for Bulldog. As Pays is extremely low, they're going to be able to take him down. Young Jay comes back into the fight, and there it is. Kwandong Freaks just wipe the floor with Gen G. And they'll now. Orin has Vami Center, so he's taken the long way around the tower for the Demolish proc, and he almost gets away with it thanks to this horrendous creep block. Est-ce que vous avez vu ça, frère? Est-ce que, est-ce que vous avez? Spell Thieving Party. Zoe flies in here, whiffs her Paddle Star, but look at the ground. There's three more flashes, a Smite and an Ignite. Okay. I think I flash. I had to flash vers, uh... Vers Lissin, au cas où lui dashin. Thanks so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's episode all on Flash. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for some more good stuff like this daily. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.